Hello, my name is Evan. I'm 23 years old. I live in Glassboro, New Jersey, and I am an ex-Republican. When I turned 18, I decided I would register with the GOP because I thought that they had more room for moderation than the Democratic Party. As someone who got involved in political campaigns and with the young Republicans, I was disappointed that as time went on and Donald Trump became the nominee for the Republican Party, that there was less room for someone like me in the party. I voted for John Kasich in the primary election and Hillary Clinton in the general. I voted against my own party because I felt that Hillary Clinton's presidency would do less damage to the GOP's reputation and yes to America's reputation. Since Donald Trump was sworn into office, I have been disappointed in the increasing Stockholm Syndrome that the GOP has exhibited. Their ability to defend Donald Trump's most indefensible and disgusting words and actions only tell me that the GOP of today is not the GOP of Nelson Rockefeller, Richard Nixon, Eisenhower, or Ronald Reagan. The fact that they are able to not have a platform and say we're for whatever Donald Trump is for, when Donald Trump has been a Republican for less time than I've been alive, tells me that today's GOP only cares more about winning than about having a message and having morals. I voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016, and yes, I'm going to vote for Joe Biden in 2020. Because I think that Joe Biden is more of a Republican than Donald Trump has ever been, and Joe Biden's never been a Republican. I hope that if Joe Biden wins the presidency, that our country will come together, and I hope that the GOP will return to the sensible center. I don't know if I'll ever rejoin the GOP. I left it a year after Trump became president. But I hope that if Joe Biden does become president, I hope the GOP will welcome people like me, moderates like me, in case I ever want to rejoin. So, I think Donald Trump is a threat to the GOP, I think he's a threat to the United States, and I think he's a threat to the rest of the world. The GOP must do the right thing and vote for Joe Biden this November.